In mathematics, de Moivre's formula, named after Abraham de Moivre, states that for any complex number x an integer and it holds that where i is the imaginary unit. While the formula was named after de Moivre, he never stated it in his works. The expression cos x plus i sin x he sometimes abbreviated to ci's x. The formula is important because it connects complex numbers and trigonometry. By expanding the left-hand side and then comparing the real and imaginary parts under the assumption that x is real, it is possible to derive useful expressions for cos and sin in terms of cos x and sin x. As written, the formula is not valid for non-integer powers then. However, there are generalizations of this formula valid for other exponents. These can be used to give explicit expressions for the nth roots of unity, that is, complex numbers z such that zinc equals 1. Derivation from Euler's formula Although historically proven earlier, de Moivre's formula can easily be derived from Euler's formula and the exponential law for integer powers then. By Euler's formula, a more elementary motivation of the theorem comes from calculating where the final equality follows from the trigonometric identities. This proves the theorem for the case n equals 2. Larger values of n correspond to trigonometric identities for the triple angle, quadruple angle, etc. Proof by induction. The truth of de Moivre's theorem can be established by mathematical induction for natural numbers, and extended to all integers from there. For an integer n, call the following statement s. For n greater than 0, we proceed by mathematical induction. s is clearly true. For our hypothesis, we assume s is true for some natural k. That is, we assume now, considering s. C angle sum and difference identities. We deduce that S implies S. By the principle of mathematical induction it follows that the result is true for all natural numbers. Now, S is clearly true since cos plus I sin equals 1 plus I 0 equals 1. Finally, for the negative integer cases, we consider an exponent of n for natural n. The equation is a result of the identity, for z equals cos nx plus i sin nx. Hence, s holds for all integers n, formulae for cosine and sine individually. If x, and therefore also cos x and sin x, are real numbers, then the identity of these parts can be written using binomial coefficients. This formula was given by 16th century French mathematician Franciscus Vieta. These equations are in fact even valid for complex values of x because both sides are entire functions of x, and two such functions that coincide on the real axis necessarily coincide everywhere. Here are the concrete instances of these equations for n equals 2 and n equals 3. The right-hand side of the formula for cos is in fact the value tn of the Chebyshev polynomial tn at cos x. Failure for non-integer powers, and generalization. De Moivre's formula does not hold for non-integer powers. The derivation of de Moivre's formula above involves a complex number raised to the integer power n. If a complex number is raised to a non-integer power, the result is multiple valued. For example, when n equals 1 half, de Moivre's formula gives the following results. For x equals 0 the formula gives 1 and a half equals 1, and for x equals 2 pi the formula gives 1 and a half equals minus 1. This assigns two different values for the same expression 1 and a half, so the formula is not consistent in this case. On the other hand, the values 1 and minus 1 are both square roots of 1. More generally, if z and w are complex numbers, then is multi-valued while is not. However, it is always the case that is one value of roots of complex numbers a modest extension of the version of de Moivre's formula given in this article, can be used to find the nth roots of a complex number th power. If z is a complex number, written in polar form as then the nnth roots of z are given by where k varies over the integer values from 0 to n minus 1. This formula is also sometimes known as de Moivre's formula. Analogues in other settings. 
Hyperbolic trigonometry since, an analogue to de Moivre's formula also applies to the hyperbolic trigonometry, for all. Also, if then one value of will be quaternions to find the roots of a quaternion there is an analogous form of de Moivre's formula. A quaternion in the form can be represented in the form for. In this representation, and the trigonometric functions are defined as an. In the case that. This leads to the variation of de Moivre's formula. Example to find the cubic roots if write the quaternion in the form then the cubic roots are given by.